Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be tying this, the glister bug. Super simple, super quick and extremely effective at catching trout and grayling. It was shown to me by a friend on Instagram, goes under the handle of Trout Bomb Guiding, catches some serious fish and uh, I was really happy when he told me uh, just how he put it together. Materials you're going to need. Uh, for the body we've got some brown glister that's by Vineyards and for the thorax we've got some black cluster the tail some cock de Leon and the hook is a full and mill Czech nymph in a size 12 uh, but a 3.5 mil gold bead and some lead wire now that we've got our materials prepared let's start tying so we've put the hook in the vise and the next thing we're going to do is add some lead wire. So I'm just going to start with the bend and just wind forward. A few turns. I don't want to go crazy with it, the bead's heavy enough. But I do like this fly um, as an anchor fly and just push that lead right up into the body, into the bead, sorry. Next thing to do is just secure the thread. I'm going to do that right behind the lead. I'm going to build up a little thread dam and that just stops the lead from moving back when you wind through it. I'm going to bring the lead through, just to make sure that's nice and secure. Bring the thread through it a few times. Not sure. Next thing to do, take your thread all the way down. You might notice at times I rotate my vise, um, it's just to make sure that I'm getting good clearance from my thread when I'm taking it down. Uh, and I'm missing the hook point. <clears throat> uh, so next thing to do, secure your um, tail. So we've got cock to lay on. Take some fibres, a good pinch, 90 degrees from the stem. So they're nice and lined up when you tear them off. Now the tail length, probably half to three quarters of the body. right on top of the hook and then what I'm going to do is trim that where the lead starts and I'm going to bring my thread up and touch and turns as best as I possibly can which will help you keep those fibres in check and by trimming it at the lead there you're also helping to build your uh, tapered sheep I'm going to take my thread right back down to the base of the hook. Now I'm going to start with our brown cluster. So with this stuff you really want to try and build it up gradually, um, just little bits at a time. You know, I'd rather I'd rather go back the way and you know take my thread over it than try and put it all on at once. So a couple of wraps just to get an anchor point for your dubbing and you can tighten it up. And you're just gonna bring that up. Just tighten it as you go. All the way up over the lead. All you're really wanting to do is leave the space for the thorax. I'm going to come down 
with my thread back up. That just makes it it's nice and secure. It doesn't, it won't look, you know, like a, a show fly, but this is a fishing fly it's designed to catch. So I wouldn't worry too much about it. I'll just come up a little bit short, so I'm going to add a tiny little bit more and brown dubbin, and then finish it off with the black. A wee bit. Now we're going to take the actual colour is peacock black, so you will get a little flashes of, of green in there, but it's predominantly black. And same again, just dub that on nice and lightly. Start at the front, work my way back. Fibers. And then we'll finish. Always do two wet finishes, and the second one always with a varnish, which helps just to seat the knot. And that's it, that's the cluster bug. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you think in the comments and tight lines. Thanks for watching.